All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels, so your additional daily duels, of course, because now we changed it so you get two daily duels on Wednesday, that bonus hump day. Anyway, we are using Klebola, and pretty much I'm just going to be testing out my Tower Turbo because I wanted to test this deck out anyway. Uh, you know, if my opponents quit over and over again, I really don't care, but literally, I was literally just sitting here shuffling my deck and testing it. I was like, wait, why not just do this on freaking Dev Pro and just record it? So I'm still doing a lot more research on this deck. I definitely want to get this deck right just because I really feel like this deck will be really good. I mean, I picked it up for, you know, pretty cheap. And I feel like it's going to be one of the best uh, decks this format. But literally, Tower Turbo is essentially it's exactly what you see I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now. I just bust out the fucking uh, tower first turn on your ass. No, I don't want none of their effects. So go ahead, give me a monster out of your hand, start off with, and you got to do with the fucking killer first turn on the Tower Turbo. You know, it's strong, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, Scout and Wavering Eyes and, you know, multiple draw cards, it seems like you just go ahead and get them real quick, so. So, of course, we'll go ahead and activate Monolith, draw two. Oh, wow, and got another Scout and another Monolith. That's, that's like, wow, you know. So now my opponent is definitely behind, you know, I'm, I'm going to be applying a lot of pressure, you know. You pretty much have to kill this killer, like, there, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This, you have to kill the killer, so. I want to see what you can go ahead and pull off. But, like I said, I'm just, I'm literally just testing the consistency. Uh, there's some cards that hinder me, which I really don't like, but I really don't have a choice. You know, until Chicken Race comes out, I gotta run hinder cards. So, uh, one of the hinder cards is, um, it's one of the hinder cards. One of the hinder cards is Tramplings, because it's not a cleave, you know, if you could, it helps, but then it hurts, you know. Um, I'm only running one because running multiples would kill you. If, you. if you draw multiples, then your play is dead. But it'll help if you go ahead and, uh, you know, have it with Scout because, you know, you get that additional search because it's going to go ahead and bounce your Scout back and you can go ahead and play it again. So it's kind of like, oh, well, you know, I opened up with, my out of my five cards, I opened up with Scout, Trample Links, and three other Cleaves. So, you know, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that's your opening hand. You know? So instead of, uh, you know, four cleaves and scout, scout, tramplings, and three other cleaves. You can go ahead and play the scout, play the tramplings, pimp them, summon them three, you know, search for killer, tribute, you know. So, uh, tramplings helps but at one. But if, you, for example, if you draw two tramplings and scout, then you only have two cleaves in your hand. And, of course, you only get one pendant summon, so that's why I only run one tramplings, because multiple, it clogs. If, I, if you open up with two tramplings, it's bad, and you clog terribly. So... He's going to go ahead and play Shadal Fusion, so I'm assuming he has, he has a Shadal in his hand, and of course a Light Monster, so here comes the Construct, which is totally fine, that's what you want to do, you know, bring it, it you know, I'm a Tribute Summon Monster, I'm not Special Summon from your extra deck, so none of that fusion from your, you know, your main deck, that's fine, so yep, Construct, and Dragon's going to go ahead and pop my Scout, but like I said, I'm still applying too much pressure. You essentially got to kill my Scout and take out my Killer in one turn, if you don't, then I'm applying too much pressure. So, wow, and you're going to pop my monolith instead of popping my freaking scout. Like, okay. Then, if you fusion something, you can special summon one monster from your hand. Like, okay, I guess. What else? What's another card that's hindering me? Because I really don't have a choice. But one card I'm running, which I hate running, is One Day of Peace. But, you know, it's just like another upstart. Like I said, as soon as Chicken Race comes out, totally good in place. Because I hate letting my opponent draw. I'd much rather go ahead and activate Chicken, chicken Race and pay a thousand to draw a card than allow you to draw a card because I'm drawing a card. Like, I don't like that shit, so. <clears throat> so, definitely not a big fan of that. And uh, the last card that I feel like is a hindrance is Vandy's Emptiness. You know, I debated between Venny's Emptiness and Skill Drain. I was like, you know, which one? Okay. Alright, you're dead. That was dumb. That was really dumb. That was, like, extremely dumb. Like, nigga, do I look like a special summon monster? You clearly saw me tribute summon it last turn, so I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Like, hello? Yeah, scoop it up. See? And that's the power. I dropped the killer and the pressure. The pressure. So, we're gonna keep testing it, and I'll keep talking, so I'll be right back. Alright. So, as I said, as soon as Chicken Race comes out, I'm not main decking the enemies, because once again, it's another hindrance card. So, let's see how I open up now. So, and, you know, upstarts, into the voids, and of course, wavering eyes, like, you're about to get stupid. So, I'm about, to, I'm about to draw it up, I'm about to draw up a storm, yep. So, I'll go ahead and play these, because I can still pull off my plays. 
Yeah, I definitely can. Yeah, into the void, draw another card. Now that vanity sucks, yeah. But I'm definitely gonna go ahead and play it, so. We're gonna go ahead and activate two. Activate two, because it doesn't matter. Because we're just gonna literally destroy you guys. So, like I said, vanity is definitely seems like a hindrance card. Like I said, I debated over which one I wanted to do, vanity is just skill drain. But the thing with skill drain is, um, once skill drain is on the field before uh, killer or, or towers, I can't, you know, I'm not going to have tower effect. So that's the reason why I didn't go with, uh, with skill drain. Also, you know, vanities, I'm hindered, but at least I can take the duel slow, you know? I can take the duel slow because, you know, there's not a lot of fucking destruction in this deck, so. So, uh, I have second turn killer. Yeah, I definitely have second turn killer because I have one, two, three. So, I can go ahead and search for the monolith. I said, I'm pitching my entire hand, so I'm definitely going to pendulum summon my entire hand. So, I don't want to, you know, fuck this up. So, this is actually, this is a bad hand just because I drew Vanity. Like I said, Vanity is a hindrance card. You know, I wish I wish I had one more draw card. That's the way that way I didn't have to play it. Cause if I would drew one more Klee, I might have been able to do something more. So we'll just go ahead and have them in everybody, and then of course, uh, instead of we'll go off, I have no hand, and that sometimes that's what you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta get rid of your entire hand. So that's uh, so um right now I'm showing an example of how you know Vandy's a hindrance card, but it slowly slows down my opponent. So allow me another turn to go ahead and grab the killer, because like I said, unless he kills my scout, I'm going to get killer next turn. And of course, I don't need a special summon anymore, I'm just going to tribute, these guys go to the extra deck, and then these will stay on the field, so they don't have any and killer on the field, so. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and play his Destruction Magician. Then as soon as you play your other Pendulum, okay, it doesn't look like you're going to play your other Pendulum, I'll say, as soon as you play your other Pendulum, go ahead and stop you. So it doesn't even look like I need to play my Vanities. So we're gonna go ahead and activate. Go ahead and grab me fucking killer and let's go. So second turn, it's not bad, but like I said I, I want to get it first turn every turn, which is not statistically possible, but I'm trying to make it as consistent as possible. So go ahead and drop you, and then pretty much you you're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> and the funny thing is I can go ahead and pendulum summon them all back and apply all the pressure. So. Why don't we just go ahead and do that? Is that something you? No, I'll hold on to you. And of course I'll be drawing three during the end phase because the monolith, like... The pressure is real. Of course these guys are going to drop down to little weaklings, but it's still fine. So, go ahead and kill his monster. Yep. So, look at this, the, the Pendulum Magicians, but is Killer too much pressure? Is it too much pressure? Ooh, Wavering Eyes would be good against him, like he would set up his scale, I would set up my scale, Wavering Eyes, oh my god. <laughs> wavering Eyes is just disgusting. Go ahead and activate Killer, something out of your hand. Oh. He's playing multiple of them fucking magicians. I don't like playing multiple. He doesn't really bring anything new to the table. That's the problem. Oh, now I get Wavering Eyes. I'm totally not afraid to Wavering Eyes my own shit, so. Yep, go ahead and scoop it up. Another win. Look how easy this is. That was a bad hand, too. As I drew a hindrance card. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Keep testing it out. Be right back. Alright. Let's do it again. Hopefully I... Open up decently. Alright, this is probably one of the worst hands you can get right here. Uh, none of the clean monsters are doing anything for me. It's a, this is a really bad hand. This is a really bad hand. So, when I get a hand this bad, yeah, at least I got one scale. I'm gonna go ahead and put you. No. Put you. Yeah, this is one of the worst hands you can get with Turbo. Put you, put you. Especially on you two. I wish I had a monolith. You know, yes, I run triple monoliths as well, so monoliths would be great. Put me summon you two, and regular normal summon for you two. For you, 
Uh, helix, no. Stealth, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and return the shell. That way, if I do get a scout, then it, it will at least uh, be able to be played, you know? So that's the idea with that. Uh, some decks are playing like trade in and shit. I don't like that either. I don't like trade in. I don't like uh, uh, Sacred Sword. If you're gonna play Sacred Sword, only play one because you're like a turbo deck and you can only play uh, one Sacred Sword per uh, turn. So only play one and trade in. You know, there's a couple level eights. Like I think Stealth and Shell are, are the level eights. Yeah, so you can trade them and but they're gonna go to the graveyard and you generally want you want your shit back in the extra pack, like definitely. So I'm not a big fan of that either. So. That was probably the worst hand I could open up with, but, you know, the worst hand I open up with, and I still pull out a 3,100 fucking stealth, so, you know, that's un literally uh, unaffected by any monster who is, what is it, this card is unaffected by activate effect from any monster whose original rank is lower than this card, so anything level 7 or lower, unaffected. So that was the worst hand, and still, still pretty powerful play, it's just not the correct play, so, once again, get another duel and be right back. Alright. So, we saw the good, the shaky, and the ugly, so. Alright, so. Uh, I have to get a Klee off this upstart to pull this off. Yeah. Which, I should. You know, there's a lot more Klees than anything else, so I need to get a Klee off this upstart. There you go. That's all I needed. There we go. So, I play Scout. I activate Scout, search for any Klee. Doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. Scoop it up, see? I'm just gonna go play Monolith, Pendulum Summon U3, Tribute them, kill it, so. Uh, uh, people are quitting, but it's fine. I'm testing. That's all I wanted to do. Just turbo testing. Alright, so. Once again, bear back. Alright, so keep testing. I'm not sure how Klee's are gonna do it in, in uh, Worlds, just because they're not as strong as they usually be. Alright, so my opponent's going here first, which sucks, because this deck wants to go first, and of course I drew the Hindrance card, which isn't good at all either. So, overall, not looking good. Oh, Toons, great. Alright. So, Toons versus Cleese, so. I just pretty much I have to apply, 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 apply more pressure than he can stall out with Toons. Which might be the Snuggles, it really might. Ugh, and he sets a whole bunch of back row, too. But he doesn't get a single Toon monster. Alright. So... If everything goes according to plan, I do have killer. Like I said, uh, if I'm not going first with the five cards, I should definitely be able to pull off with six, you know. So, depending on, you know, what his backer is. But... If I have Weaving Eyes, I would go ahead and play the other scale first, then play Scout. So when they try to miss team on Scout, I can chain the Weaving Eyes, but... Before, before I commit to anything, before I commit to my search, I'm going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon first. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon first before I commit to my, uh, before I get to commit to my search, because if he hits me with, like, a Solemn Warning or a Bottomless or something, at least I can go ahead and have Scout search for something else that's not Killer, because right now, if I would search for Killer first and then get hit, I, my hand would be dead, you know, so. What's that? You got three pieces of backer. You should have something that that one. Wow, you're gonna finish train one of my monsters. That's like, I guess he's like finish train that stealth because stealth is gonna bounce my shit. Like, wrong, <laughs> wrong. Like that, that towers and now tribute. So it's not like you could finish train my fucking towers anyway. So, so once again, applying too much pressure. Helix. Helix is the one that pops. Yeah, Helix is the one that pops, and Carrie is the one that bounces, so... Sure, I'll go ahead and activate Helix. No, I don't want... So, Helix... Go get rid of that Toon World. You don't need that. You don't need it. Definitely don't need it. Fucking Spongebob style. Go ahead and activate Towers Effect. Give me that Toon Monsters in your hand, or whatever it's in your hand. Oh, you don't have... Wow, you didn't get any Toon Monsters. And now I'll fuck you up with Killer. Or Tower. I still like calling it Killer. So, especially Toons, like, I think this is game. I don't think there's anything that Toons can do to get out of this situation. So, that, that. Hell yeah. Draw three. The power. 
said, I'm trying to learn this deck. I definitely think that's going to be really good. Like I said, I'm not sure how it's going to do in Worlds because Wavering Guys isn't legal. Like, nothing from Clash of Rebellions is legal. So, so no Wavering Guys, no Chicken Race. So, you know, we won't be seeing Chicken Race FDK win Worlds. Nope, skip it up again. Ah, alright. Well, let's get another duel in. <laughs> they are back. Alright. Once again, just, just gonna try this out, you know. I'm sitting here for like 15, 20 minutes just testing this out. Ugh, this hand's not that good. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's literally just okay. Mmm. Sucks that I have to play self applied because I just don't like you, self applied. But it's. Ugh. I think I might just take the duel slow. This, this is probably one of the worst hands I ever opened up with. I can go ahead and summon one of my cleaves and quit the sacrifice, which is great, you know, but. And what are you, 1 9, 1 9, 9, 9. So I can play the shell, play the the disc, or play the cephalopod, pendulum summon 1, quip, tribute summon. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Just because I don't want him to uh, get rid of my. Uh, so you're 9. Who's one? You're one. I almost fucked that up. You're one. I'm gonna summon one. Is that... Sacrifice is also another enabler. But I'd rather go ahead and do this play because I don't want him to uh, cast out my sacrifice. I'd rather get the search off, you know? So sure, we'll go ahead and activate your effect, your effect. So, who am I special summoning from deck? I guess I'll summon a carrier and a helix. And of course, I'll to put you guys in defense mode. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I can just pendle some of you guys back again. And I guess I'll go ahead and search for a scout. So, that's still one of the worst hands, but oh, you're going to die anyway. But yeah, I can pendle some of you guys right back, so. Traveling's another enabler, not really doing much. But I guess he's not terrible right now just because I can normal summon in return, so. So I guess I guess he's actually helping right now. Me drawing the trampolinks. Turn the shell. Then I can play the scout. So yeah, not bad. And I can pendulum summon. And summon killer. So not bad, Trampolinks. I run one of you and you came through. Now, I didn't really need you, per se, but you did come through. I'll, I'll admit that. So, we're going to go ahead and pen to summon three. One, two, three. It sucks that you're now just a 300 beater sitting there asking to be fucking smacked around, but... So, we'll pen to summon you three. Activate this. Like I said, I could probably end this game right now, depending on what his back row is, but... Go ahead and get you. So even when I open up, oh, I already normal summoned. Yeah, it's fine. So hopefully you have a mirror force, because if you don't, then you're gonna get fucked up. Not that I care if you have a mirror force or not, but I forgot I already normal summoned. So right when I say trampolines, put in that word, I forgot I already normal summoned. Fuck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It seems like that's the end anyway. So even when I don't carry turbo, it's still it's pendulum based deck with beaters. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Damn, you just slapped. You didn't need to lose connection. You lost. It. Huh, I don't even know what deck you're playing. Anyway, I don't care. Let's go ahead and get another duel in. Bear back. You know, just because of how, how good Pendulum Basis is, even when I open up that, I still open up pretty good. So, so once again, I'm going to go ahead and put these sucking scales. No. Because if, if, if you open up with Summoner's Art, Wavering Eyes, Scout, like, there's just so many ways of getting to the fucking Scout that you can just bust it out. Yeah, so I'm about to first turn killer him. Scout, scout, search, search your killer. Yeah. Disc is. Disc is level. I mean, scale one, so that's all I care about, so. Let me kill her. Look at this, see? Look at this. Look at this. It's disgusting. I go first, and I'm dropping killer on your ass? Like, that, that, that hurts. That hurts. This is a new three, of course. It just sucks that I didn't have monoliths, so I'm not going to get to draw three during the end phase, but it's still killer, you know? So not only do you have to still deal with scouts, and you also got to deal with killer, and if you don't deal with them, pendulum summon them back, and it's just a lot of pressure, it really is. No. 
No. So, go ahead and give me something out of your hand first turn. So instead of you actually starting off with uh with six cards, you only start off with five. So you got five cards to deal with both scout and kill. Like that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Even if you do summon fucking uh even gives you gush cracking. I'm gonna minus you by 500, so you pretty much have to summon a 3500 beater. <laughs> yep, so. Yep, so you gotta summon a 3500 beater. Oh, Diva. I wanna see if he can get out of this. I wanna see that. One of the decks that I actually saw beat uh, Klee Turbo was actually Skull Servants. <laughs> Because the main skull servant was actually stronger than Killer. It was actually kind of funny. Ooh, alright. Mm hmm. So, yep, I'm about to say thanks for taking 15. <laughs> like, I'm unaffected. I all monsters, all ranks, 9 and lower, unaffected. Like, the power. Uh, I st I'm, not, I'm, I'm still doing it though. I'm still doing it. So we'll go ahead and get another one and still just testing. Be right back. Alright. So next week with Cleese, I'll probably go ahead and test out the sided out non turbo version of the deck. Hey, oh, there's that fucking card. So I'll go ahead and upstart. Give me a thousand. Draw. Uh, I'm definitely going to use all the cards in my hand. So I'm not mind playing that. So I still don't like letting my opponent draw. Never did, never will. So, Sacrifice, it kind of hurts with Into the Void, because of course I can't search. If I search it, like, I pitch my hand during the end phase, so I don't want to search. And I got a lot of scale 9, so I definitely got to get him out of here. Definitely, so. Pretty much got to get my entire hand out before I get fucked up. So we'll go ahead and turn on some of these two. Equip one of them with Sacrifice. That way Into the Void doesn't get me. Oh. See, got my hand. So this was a bad hand. This is a bad hand. So now my card, my opponent pretty much has seven cards to deal with me right now. So that's the problem. What's the problem with uh, with one day? Like I said, as soon as chicken, I'd rather play chicken race than one day. Hate one day. Hate it. But it's better. It, you know what? Playing the one day piece and allowing my opponent to draw. And it's sad to say, it breaks rule number one and rule number two. It's better than running an additional enabler that won't allow me to play. Because if I can go ahead and draw into that next card, then I would appreciate that more than anything. So. We're playing something with Mathematician, so should all Burning Abyss or something like that, so. Ooh, Insectors. Hmm. Insectors can put up a lot of pressure. Destroying my scales are just a little bit too slow. You know, if I could destroy during my turn, then we could talk, but it doesn't seem like they'll be able to put up much pressure against me. Hmm. I might go ahead and just tribute and return. Like I said, stealth really helps in this deck. Destroy one is back row, search. Yeah. So, Helix, yes. Sacrifice, yes. Scout, I mean stealth, yes. So, we'll go ahead and destroy one of your back rows. Sacrifice, stealth. Stealth, go ahead and return me Cephalopod, because I need to go ahead and put my scout. So, like I said, next week with Cleese, I'll probably try out my sided out version, which is kind of like regular Cleese. I'm thinking about not even putting the scout. I guess I gotta put the scout to search. Right now, I'm sitting pretty okay. I, I don't want to do it just because I don't want him to go ahead and just pop my scout, you know. I'd rather hold on to it, because next turn, with my normal summon, I can go ahead and summon killer. So yeah, I'm not gonna put scout right now. I'll take it. I'll take it slow. I'll drop. Uh, I'll drop it next turn. Cause especially since he has horn in the grave dryer, he's gonna go ahead and. Uh, that's surprising. They didn't up horn it up to two. Hmm. He's gonna go ahead and go. You know, you know. If he wants to go ahead and start popping my shit. More power to you. Another foolish. So now who you send it? Dragonfly, oh, here we go, Call the Haunted, here we go. The only problem is that your Insectors can't pop my stealth, so. You can go ahead and pop my, I mean, you can pop this stealth, but you can't pop this stealth, so. Here we go. This sucks that I don't have another scale one. If I had another scale one, but 
I think this was the correct play to hold out for the scout, you know. So, once again, Stealth's applying too much pressure. You, c you can't do it with my Stealth, so. Go ahead and show him. He goes back to the extra deck, which is totally fine. So, Summon Centipede, Equip, and Equip, Pop. But when you pop, you gotta pop your own shit, because you can't even... Well, I guess you can still target Stealth. You just can't pop him. He's unaffected. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the side deck for this deck. I'm thinking about siding into normal Cleese, you know, especially since I have triple lose one turn and shit. You know, side in the lose one turns to skill drain and shit like that. Oh, okay. Okay, so you go up to level five. And you get a search. So five, is, you know, if you want to exceed until rank five, that's nice and all, but still not high enough. You need to, you need to get to eight. Can go ahead and search for his axe thing. Oh, so that's how you're gonna do it. You're just gonna quit both of them. Okay, that works. That works. You hear it better hope I don't draw scale one. Nope, another scale nine. It's the same. So many of the same damn scale. So do I have I have helix, so I have two helixes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I can't pendulum summon though. I can't. Well I can go ahead and search for scale one. Go ahead and search for monolith and pendulum summon, so Sucks. If I were to a scale one, then of course I could go ahead and uh, hit him with the. Uh... And of course he has the MST. Like damn, the fucking answers are real. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he won. He had all the answers. Like that's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, he won. I can summon. I can go ahead and normal summon, but yeah, with two scale nines, there's not shit I can do. I'm, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and. Kill, definitely kill the frickin' Dragonfly before he goes stupid again with it, but it's just amazing that he had the MST, he had the equips to get over my fucking shit. Like, I should be beating these actors, but hey, this what happens when you get the MST. I didn't get Wavering Eyes. I just didn't open up well enough to beat him with, it, with his answers. So you can just go equip, unequip, pop, search, hit me for the 34, probably normal summon someone else and hit me directly, so... I said, unless I draw scale one, if if I survive this, unless I draw scale one, that's it. I need to draw fucking scale one. And the best thing I, you know, the funny thing is, the best thing I can do is just go ahead and pendulum summon and defend. That that MST was just too strong. It sucks. I should not be losing to fucking insectors like this, but. Hey, that's what happens when I open up pretty bad. If I would have dropped, dropped the first turn killer, it would have been game, but couldn't. That should most definitely be game. That's uh, look at that's only fifty six. Oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's game. So instead of popping me, you're just gonna run me over, really? Alright, so I, if I don't draw a fucking one. Ooh, I did though. So, this is another MST that I'm fucked either way, so. Let's go ahead and try to do it one more time. This is it. And I gotta pay another 800 to search too. That's what sucks too. So, let's see if you literally drew all the answers to this duel. See, let's see if my let's see who's luckier, me or you, because I got pretty lucky, I must say, with the summoner's art, so let's see if this is something to stop me. Watch it be another MST. It's like, you know what? I quit, that's it, you got it. <laughs> it 
something. It's clearly something. Since we're waiting so long. Your shit's only uh, spell speed fucking uh, one, so this has to be something. Dungeon summon. I'll summon you, 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 you. All in defense mode. I'm gonna normal summon you, attributing you to, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop. Oh, I should've summoned one of you in attack mode. Yeah, I should've summoned one of you in attack mode, because now you can still apply enough pressure with one centipede, because I can only kill one. Damn, that was bad, I misplayed. Because I should've summoned one in attack mode to attack. Hmm. Chibichu, pop. Pop you. Uh, this card is in grave while equipped to it. You can target one deck to march in your graveyard. Except for in some of it. Mm. Yes. Yes. Sure. So, we're definitely gonna go ahead and. What do you do? You pop. You. You're gonna drop down to 24, so I can run you over. What's up, with pod burn you? Oh, starting roar. Just go ahead and search for another one. I'm like, damn. Why is this duel so difficult? This duel should not be this difficult. Yet it is. So, of course, I can. Cannot declare an attack this turn. Good old vectors. Yeah, I'll go ahead and draw two. And now he's gonna wreck my shit. <laughs> Damn, and he gets equipped again! Like, damn! What the fuck? These equip spells are fucking me up! Like, they shouldn't be fucking me up this bad, yet they are. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing that they're fucking me up so fucking bad. These fucking equip spells. Fucking axe and fucking this, like, damn. Yep. Why not? Fucking Hopper, attack directly! Like, oh, great. Wow. I got fucked up by Insectors. That's funny. That's funny. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So, uh, my opponent, he just had the shit. He had the shit. So, like, damn. He showed me pure Insectors. Putting that work. Putting that work. I've been up really bad, though. So, he had enough to apply pressure. So, like I said, next Wednesday with Strictly's, I'm gonna try to use my side deck. More of a stun based, control based, please. So, I can have both decks. So, pretty much game one, I turbo it up, drop the killer, you scoop it up, and then game two, I can go into my more, uh, you know, uh, I side in and go into my uh, more stun based cleaves. And then, you know, if I lose and we go to game three, I can go back into turbo and then drop killer on your ass again and then win. So, essentially, that's how it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, like I said, tell me what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions for this deck, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. Still working on it. I have the majority of the deck. Like, right now, like, open up my deck box. Uh, still shit's coming in the mail, but I have the majority of the deck. I have one Into the Void. Two more are coming in the mail. Uh, I have triple of every Klee that you need. Triple Monolith, triple, you know, except for Scout, of course. One one Killer. Uh, uh, I have the Wavering Eyes. I have uh, the Upstarts. Uh, I have the Vanities. I have the Summoner's Arts. I literally have the entire fucking deck. I have the skill drain. I have the three lose one turns. Uh, what I'm also thinking about signing, just because this deck is uh, going up in popularity, and it seems like with how how good this deck is, uh, it seems like the worst matchup against Cleese is uh, Cleese themselves. 
I was thinking about maybe siding in uh, Black Horn, and also with Infernoid probably going up in popularity the next set, Black Horn, and uh, and for the decks that aren't good against Black Horn, uh, I put in shit like um, Majesty's Fiend, you know, negate all effects, so all effects, period, so if I go against, like, Burning Bass, or I go against, like, you know, Neckers or something, they get all effects, including the ones in your hand and shit, so, uh, Majesty's Fiend, uh, probably maybe Monarch Storm 4th, just because I'll probably be going second, I'm not sure about that, did I say Monarch Storm 4th? Yeah, Monarch Storm 4th, uh, of course, the skill drain, the, the lose one turns, uh, maybe climate change just because wavering eyes and then whatever I don't need to decide I could just run more trees, you know, like you'll probably be the first one out just because I don't like your effect Like you really don't do anything, you know uh, Of course stealth is still good shell is still pretty good because you know that double attack pierce is pretty good pretty powerful um, uh, Maybe disc just because I might be running multiple cleaves and summon I'm not the biggest fan of disc, you know, especially with the lose one turn, but but uh, yeah, that, that's it. So like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. But I uh, hope you you guys enjoyed, you know, the two daily duels that you're getting on Wednesdays now. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, of course, with another tag. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all tag. Uh, tag Thursday using uh, UAs. Joined by, uh, you'll find out. All right, people. Thanks for watching.